Hey, what's up Stripe Nation? Blake Albertson here with B&B Lawn Care. It is actually a beautiful day here, late February of 2023. It's been about a year since I got this Lesco Pro Air 30 inch and the Lesco Model 300 spreader sprayer. And today, I'm just getting some equipment out, just making sure everything's good. We actually did the oil changes and everything like that probably a few weeks ago, but just starting everything up, making sure everything is ready to roll and running smoothly. I thought it'd be a good time to talk about the ROI on equipment like this. Aeration, overseeding, fertilizing, services like that and equipment like the Model 300, like the Lesco Pro Air 30 inch. You know, there's two ways to look at it. When you're just getting into a service like this, yeah, they're a little bit pricey up front, it seems, right? But I wanna break down some numbers with you they're, they're pretty crazy about how quickly you can actually make your money back. We only aerate about a month, month and a half out of the year, but you can definitely pay for this machine in that one month and still make profit, okay? I ran the numbers just roughly today, right before I'm making this video as I was getting some equipment out thinking about this. If you aerate 60 yards, aerate and overseed, right? Charge about 350, about our going rate. Seed, eh, I don't know, 130, 140, I think. So you're making about 200, 210, 220, 230 profit on each aeration and overseeding that you perform, okay? That's 60 properties that you have to do to pay for this machine. 60, 60. I mean, you could do 10, 12, 15 hustling in a day. So, I mean, really think about it. If you had the customers lined up, you had everything ready to go, dialed in, the customers had all of their um, irrigation, the sprinkler heads, valve boxes, things like that. They had all of that marked and you just had them on a list. No joke. If you had everything dialed in, you could pay for this machine in one week of aeration. Like, I, you, now, listen, your first year, your first two years into this, you know, you have to be really dialed in, know what you're doing to have it set up like that. But I'm telling you, it's possible. Okay, it's possible. Aeration is probably, for me, the most profitable service that we perform. And I'll tell you why. It's because for the customer, it just makes more, no sense to go out and rent, go pick one up. Um, a rental walk behind, spend a half afternoon wrestling some walk behind aerator when they can literally pay me the same amount that they're going to spend doing all that. It won't take them all day. They don't have to have a backache and legs sore and, you know, full body aches, right? It's, it's no work for them. They're just going to pay basically the same amount, maybe a tiny bit more to have me go out there and do it with a beast of a machine like this that's gonna properly do it. I've been aerating for six, seven years now. I know what I'm doing. And they're probably gonna get better results, right? From what I do. I, I, I don't know. As professionals, that's just the service that you're offering, right? You have the knowledge, the know-how. I've aerated thousands of properties. So it's just one of those things. But it's very realistic. So I think these are like 12,000, maybe a little bit more. I don't know what they are. 12,000 bucks, 200 times 60, 12,000 bucks, right? It's very realistic. With some of these items and, and machines and things, don't get so caught up on the purchase price that it makes it so you don't go get the machine and you don't go make more money. Because I'm telling you, after 60 properties, you're paying this sucker off, done, and then it's basically all profit. Like you have the seed price, Okay, but you're still making $200 in literally 20 minutes. Literally 20 minutes on most of these properties, most of my properties, and I make 200 bucks. You can pay a machine off pretty quickly and you're making really good money. Even if it took you just that month of aerations, you paid off this machine in one year, next year you have this machine and you're gonna be making money, dude. I'm telling you, you can go out after, I mean, for years I did it where we would go out and mow all day, our weekly mowing routes, and then I would go aerate in the evening time. And you're still making good, better money than mowing. I'm telling you, better money than mowing. Now let's go over here to the Model 300 is still here 
in my garage. Um, we really didn't do a ton of spraying liquid applications this year, just getting into it new, new into the service, right? Just trying to learn a lot. But I wanted to get a machine that we could really grow with. And I didn't want to be like, oh, let's get a machine this year. And then, you know, next year, or the next year after that, when we're really hitting, you know, liquid applications hard, I have to go out and get a new machine. So the Model 300 is one of those units that you, it, it kind of can do everything, right? And that's what I wanted. Fertilizer pricing is a little bit more competitive in our area, right? Than aeration and overseeding. It's just how it is. We have some pretty big companies that drag the price down. I'll just be 100% honest with you. They are very competitive pricing because they have a full service model where they come into services like mowing, fertilizing sometimes, and they go a little bit below what the market value is so they can offer, they can get in with the customer and then offer all the services, make their money back on landscaping and things like that. I don't know exactly how their model works, but that's what I've experienced in this area. Does it, there, there's enough work for everybody, right? It's not a huge deal, but it makes it a little bit more complicated. You definitely have more expenses than let's say aerating. I mean, if you're not putting seed down, I mean, you got a little bit of gas and the price of the machine, but air and your time, but air rating is, is like literally basically free money, right? If you have the machine, it doesn't take that much gas. Um, it's literally most pro mostly profit. Fertilizing, there's good margins in it. Not as good as air rating, uh, not at all, but you can also only do air rating, like I said, one month out of the year. Some people do in the springtime, but around here, a lot of people put pre-emergent down, so it's just not possible to get seed to grow in the springtime. And also, we just have wacky, wacky weather where it goes from cold to like, boom, I'm here. It's summertime. And it's just not, it doesn't make for great grass growing. So fall is basically when we do all of our aeration and overseeding. Um, the great thing about fertilizing is it is six, you can offer seven applications a year, you can do pest control, so you can really be, a it's a little bit more reliable income, like mowing. The reason I love mowing and a lot of people love mowing is it's reoccurring revenue every single week. It's pretty reliable, right? And fertilizing is a step back from that because it's only, like I said, six maybe seven times some people offer seven applications a year. Um, it's a little less reliable, but it's more reliable than a one-time service like landscaping or a one-time service like aeration per year. So that's why I, I wanted to grow into it and I really wanted to do it. So around here, I would say $80 is probably the growing rate for a lot of these um, 10,000 and less square foot yards. Um, it's like 85 bucks is like the going rate. If you go anything above that, um, you're, you're not getting 100. Because like I said, these big companies have came in here um, and just dragged the price down. So let's say all in you're making, I don't know, with transport costs, of the, the fertilizer, I mean, you just have to be really efficient. That comes down to like you running your business, right? If you're just one off going to, let's say site one, and then, you know, you're going to pick up all the stuff, you have to go pick up your trailer, then you have to go pick up your spreader. And, you know, that's a lot of wasted time. So if you can come up with a system of, you can still start like, boom, right off the gate, maybe you store some fertilizer if you have a shop, a garage, um, if you can make an efficient system, you know, your profits are probably going to be 40 to 50 bucks per application, um, maybe higher. It, it, like I said, it all depends on how much fertilizer you buy, where, where you're getting it, what the pricing is. Check out site one. Like they, they really do go through, um, I mean, you guys saw the videos we made last year. I literally just went up there, raw up there at my local site one in Pleasant Valley I'm sure there's rods at every location that are willing to help you. And literally it's like, hey, you could probably call them today and be like, uh, when do I put fertilizer down? And they're checking soil temperatures and letting you know in your area, if you're just newly starting out, you literally don't know, 
there's always people out there to help. Depending on where, what your costs are, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 bucks profit probably um, per application. Some people are gonna say maybe that's a little low, maybe that's a little high. Like I said, it all depends on what product you're putting down, what price you're getting it at, and how efficient you are with getting out on the properties, right? If you're spending three hours and you're paying guys um, to go run around picking up product, go pick up your trailer, go pick up your spreader. You know, it, it's a struggle for smaller businesses when we can't store product, um, you know, and sometimes we have trailers and equipment everywhere. Like, like we're a weekly mowing company, right? That's our bread and butter. So to add on these other services, we don't have dedicated trailer or a dedicated truck or dedicated crew, right? So you just have to get those systems in place to be efficient and actually get out there on the property so that if you're going out, let's say you went out and did five properties, right? You're just starting out, just getting into it. But there was two hours of prep work in the beginning and an hour and a half of prep work in the end and it took you drive time and it ended up taking you eight hours to get those five properties done. I know that seems crazy. I'm just throwing out random numbers. Because I know what it's like out, out in the real world when you're mowing and you're like, oh, I got to go do fertilizing. Let's go switch out the trailer. Let's go get the thing. Let's go get the fertilizer. Let's go get the spreader. You know, those 10, 20 minute drives, then you have to go from property to property. I mean, you, it's just like business. You have to be dialed in. Route density is key. If I can get this neighbor, that neighbor, the neighbor after that is a lot better than a neighbor here, three neighborhoods over, another property, four neighborhoods over. 10 minute drive, 20 minute drive, it all cuts into the bottom line, um, especially if you're having uh, employees with you. Or something that a lot of people don't think about is if you were out doing another job, what would you be making there? Like drive time is the killer. The clock is the killer in the business, in any business, but especially our business because we are mobile businesses, right? So the windshield time, sitting in the truck, the gas station, picking up um, supplies, products, chemicals, all of these things are time. So the more efficient you can be with your time, the more of a system you have, um, the more dedicated a, a, of a trailer with your setup already on it, maybe store some fertilizer. That's why I don't think I would ever buy another open trailer always enclosed, especially for fertilizing. Because maybe you could keep a little bit of fertilizer in there, you could keep your equipment in there, boom, just grab it and go. Let's talk about the end of the day, how have these machines impacted my business? The thing about equipment, it's uncalculatable, okay? uncalculatable. I, I can calculate what it's done in the last year, right? And these two machines probably made us an extra fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, right? Not that impressive. It, it is our first year getting into some of this stuff, right? I've been aerating for a long time, so that business is pretty solid, right? But when you're talking about equipment, it's how is it going to impact our business one, two, three, four, over the next five or six years, over the next 10 years, right? Every time we go out, people see us. We get more calls, we adding, we're adding new fertilizing clients, we're adding new aeration overseeding clients. It's uncalculatable. This next year, it might be $100,000. The year after that, hopefully, it's $150,000, $200,000 impact on our business. Right, so we're talking about twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand, thirty thousand dollars in equipment, and over the next few years, we're talking about a really big, you know, over the next five years, hopefully, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars of impact, return on investment from these machines. So I know because I'm like this. It is a scary when you when you have zero clients, right? If you if you've only aerated a couple times, right? You've just rented units or whatever. To go spend twelve, thirteen thousand dollars on a machine, that seems like a lot. 
But on the flip side, it's like if you're not making the twenty, thirty thousand dollars in September and October, you know, it's like you're either going to step up by the machine and make that money year after year after year after year, or you're just not going to make that money at all. So you have to flip your mindset to a business owner, right? About what the opportunity cost is going to be in the future over the next couple years. I mean, this one little machine, this one aerator, dude, this guy, that machine will make me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now here's another point to this. Let's say you go out. Let's say somebody, let's say Susie calls you. You don't know Susie. You go aerate her yard. This happens all the time. She's like, oh, I also have some leaves that I need cleaned up. And next year we're looking for a new weekly lawn service. So because you have this machine, right? You're offering aerating and overseeding and providing good service to your customers. But you also picked up a new leaf cleanup and a new weekly mowing customer in a recurring every year aeration and overseeding customer. So just right there, I mean, that's probably thousands of dollars from that one customer that you got because you now offer this service. Same thing with fertilizing. We're looking for a new company to fertilize. We're also looking for a lawn care mowing company. I know a guy. So you've got to write down all of these points because they're all facts. It happens all the time. It's not going to happen to every customer, but it does happen often. So make 2023 the year that you step up, you offer the services you've been wanting to offer, you get the equipment you've wanted to get because I'll tell you, I'll never ever use a walk behind aerator again. Uh, walk behind spreader, none of that. These things are gonna make us hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's a true fact. It's my company and a million other companies out there. I don't know if there's millions of co companies, but tens of thousands of lawn care companies out there are making money, but you have to invest in the right equipment. Um, and it's better to do it this year than it is to do it next year because you're gonna be losing out on the efficiency and those jobs. So it's one of those things like, if you're thinking about it, you might as well just pull the trigger and start making your money back and making profit as quickly as possible. So that's what we got, 2023. It's, uh, we're getting some rain, nice weather, 60 degree days. And uh, we'll be out there with the first application super, super soon. So hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope it it, it, this is um, one of those things where these videos aren't like fun, they're not cute, they're, they're just meant to maybe show you the real numbers behind it and maybe they'd be that little bit of extra push for you to, um, listen, when you're making, let's say, let, let's say a year from now, a year from your decision right now, okay, and offering these services, let's say it just made you 30 grand, okay? At the very worst that's gonna happen at the end of this year is you paid off two incredible machines that are gonna make you money for years to come. Then the next year you make $50,000 and you get to stick it all in your pocket, most of it, whatever, right? The year after that, it bumps up to $70,000. So these two machines, that, that that $12,000 isn't looking that big of a deal, right? When in two years from now, you're going to be putting 70 grand into your business bank account. It's just a way to think about it. Hope you guys enjoy the day. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting old beauty out here out of the rain. It, it's starting to come down a little bit. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.